the M25. In about 400 yards, speed camera. Shut up, woman! Morning, it's seven o'clock. I was up till two o'clock editing, putting up the bed. It's too early for this. And it's all just for me. And we're off. Uh, I was hoping to get away at nine o'clock and we eventually got away at 10.15. Gotta be sighted and set up and at my meeting at the NEC, which is about three and a half hours away by three. So still doable. I just hate rushing. Now, regular viewers may notice that there is somebody very important missing from this series of vlogs. And that is, I do not have Dougal, my dog, with me this week. At this point, I expect the viewing figures to drop by about 95% because I know that everyone watches for Dougal, not me. However, because it's such a full on week this week, I've got the judging to do for the Caravan Club. I'm also taking up chairmanship of the Caravan Writers Guild, which I'm very excited about, but that has commitments with it, responsibilities. I've got lots of people to see, and as I say, commitments to fulfill. Therefore, it's not fair to take Dougal and leave him for extended periods in the caravan so I'm sure a lot of you would agree that it's far better that I've left him with my mum. Uh, he spends most of his time beating up my mum's Doberman, Casper, so he will be happy, we'll miss each other terribly and I'll probably go back on the train and get him on Saturday so sorry, no Dougal. Oh, don't you just love the M25? In about 300 yards, speed camera. Shut up, woman! Here we are, NEC, center of the universe. I made it, it's 10 to three. I'm just uh, walking now to the halls and to our judges meeting. It's all good. I can tell you something for nothing. It won't be this quiet in two days time. Oh, look at these two dolly birds. Whoa. Snog, snog. Snog, snog. Snog, snog. Snog, snog. snog. Watch her. She's. Here we are. <laughs> that looks like them. That's them. Right, so we're there. I've got me at high vis. Um, we're just going to have our judges meeting. You're down there, aren't you? Sorry. We're just going to have our judges meeting, um, so it's all a bit um, hush hush, and hopefully introduce you to the other judges later and tell you what we're doing. So here we go. Right, that is our judges meeting done, and I have got shower, toilet, fittings. Just a little bit of paperwork to go through before we start. <coughs> Judging process. So we have judges' notes, scorecard. Data sheets of every caravan that is in the competition. We've got heating specification, the entrant. Look at that lot. 
We've got the security specification, bed sizes. So I will study my notes first. And a lot of these notes are based on responses from the Caravan Club's leisure vehicle survey. So it was actually the members themselves who have highlighted what is very important. So these are things we have to study, take out with us, and bear in mind as we're judging the competition. Happy days. And here we go. We have super judges. Mark Sutcliffe and Martin Dory. Mark, what are you judging? Kitchens. Kitchens. Martin, what are you judging? Bed seats and personal effect storage. Well, there you go. So Martin has got the short straw because he's got to make every single bed. Oh. Okay, and who shall I meet but start at the stage and screen? Mr. Graham Powell from Caravan Finder. No less, absolutely. .co.uk. <laughs> and what people don't realise is that me and him went to school together, even though same Graham, age, same age. Graham looks <laughs> oh, ten years younger than me. Oh, I don't. But I've had a hard life. He's had an easy life. <laughs> but I can't blackmail him because because well, I, I, you have pictures. I, well, school uniform picture, school photos of us at age seven. So yeah, we might just delete I'm, this I'm, bit. I'm bulletproof. Bulletproof. Totally bulletproof. Bulletproof. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna get out of here. Right, so I'm in this caravan and just show you some of the judging we do. So number one on my list is shower, uh, drain and hanging bar, which I've got to assess. So if you look at the shower in this one, there is no hanging bar. Um, and also you'll see there's only one drain. Uh, some caravans have two drains, one either side of the shower tray, which is useful if you're on a slope. So that will be borne in mind. Um, there is a roof light to let the steam out but um, it's a good size shower and yeah I'm five foot ten good size shower and you can sing a song or maybe not oh well, I've just been kicked out of this one now um, I've done four and it is uh, 25 to 6, but because most of the people here setting up the stands have been here since 8 o'clock, they want to finish now, which is kind of, you know, you can't blame them. So I'll go and see if there's anything else I can do, and if not, back to the van and go and get some dinner. Yeah, so I got away with it pretty lightly, 6 o'clock already, and uh, walking home. Um, yeah, no shuttle buses today. It's very quiet though. It won't be this quiet on Tuesday. I have just cut, cooked, cocked up, cooked up all my veggies and the oven went out so my Mexican burger is raw and my veggies are cooked. Yeah, great. Oh, I'm so hungry. Right, and half an hour later, time for the main course and look, look, garnish. Look, look, that, that's posh that is, garnish. Right, that brings us to the end of today's vlog. It is 25 minutes past nine. I am just sitting down now with some paperwork, uh, the specifications, just going through them, seeing that they're all consistent, seeing if there's anything that sort of jumps out at me, like on this one, on the heating spec, there is a six metre long six berth caravan that only has two kilowatt heating. Um, that's insufficient in my book, so I'm gonna check that out. So things like that I'm just gonna do now. Um, up tomorrow 6.30 to be in the halls by 8 for more of same. Um, if you want to keep informed then please subscribe and if you liked the video give us a thumbs up. If you didn't then just don't bother doing anything. And in the meantime, 
Thanks for tuning in.